is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do thrifting, DIYs, fashion, home decor, all that fun stuff on this channel. So if you wanna stick around and hang out with me every single Friday, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to be notified every single time I post a video. While I am doing the thing that I have been putting off for so long, we're doing a closet clean out. I have been really inspired by other people's closet clean outs and I am just thinking it's time to do it. I have been putting this off for so long. I have piles of things around my room. I'm really embarrassed to show you what my actual closet looks like, but this really needs to be organized. But I'm thinking that I am gonna do a pile of just donate and then a pile of I'm gonna take the Buffalo Exchange. I haven't decided if I'm gonna like put anything on my Poshmark. I feel like I just wanna get rid of items. So I don't know, but we're gonna look in my closet but I need to show you this mess. For the most part, it's, you know, not bad when you walk in. But then you got all this. How many pairs of jeans does a person need? Then I have my lovely pile of shoes. You guys saw this pile of laundry that is clean, by the way. I'm just lazy. This is all AJ's side, so I'm not even gonna bother. He's gonna do that himself. I'm thinking the first plan of action, I'm gonna go and take everything out of my closet, like physically take them out and put them on my bed because my biggest problem is I don't have enough hangers and I keep buying hangers and then I'm like, oh, I have clothes to fill the hangers and it's just like this cycle. So I'm gonna start with that. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna start. out of my closet I didn't realize how much I actually had accumulated so uh, I'm just gonna start going through this I actually forgot that I had this I mean obviously this is not this is not the look but this is really cute keep I got this dress at Buffalo Exchange like last summer and I only wore it once but I just can't seem to get rid of it I think since the quarantine happened like I didn't go out as much so I'm definitely gonna give it another shot because it's a true vintage. It's so pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep this for another season and see if I can get some use out of it. Put that there. So now I don't know about this coat. So I got this at Buffalo Exchange. It's actually free people. It's really warm though, but I don't know if like it's something like my style anymore. That means it's gonna go back to Buffalo Exchange. As much as I love this H&M sweater, this neck was so itchy. I didn't gravitate towards it anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one too. This was also another one of my favorite thrifted sweaters. It's like a really nice grandpa sweater. I got this two years ago actually off of Poshmark. So I wear this all the time. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This is embarrassing. Still has the tag on it. I bought it in the summer. So I'm gonna try and figure something out with this, but that's really embarrassing. You know it's time when you use your pant hangers to hang your clothes. That's, that's, that's when you know. So far, this is the pile that I'm keeping. And this is the pile so far that I'm donating slash selling slash I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. So now the task at hand is putting them all back in the closet. So let's go ahead and do that. So everything that was on my bed is now in my closet, hung up. I will show you at the very end how I organized everything, but now we're doing this mess. 
Half of these jeans, I literally had no idea that I had. Like some of them don't fit right. Or like, for instance, these are just like way too tight and it makes me so sad, but I bought them a Buffalo Exchange already being too tight. So if they're not comfortable, I'm not sitting in them. I love that I didn't even know I had a pair of white Everling jeans. I thought I got rid of these a long time ago. So I'm actually really excited that I found these. You see what happens when you go through your clothes. These were another pair of Levi's that I thrifted. So I'm gonna hem the bottom of those. Here's some more Levi's that I thrifted. These are some Everlane jeans that, eh, can live without them. I don't know what those are. Never wore those. These are my favorite Everlane jeans. I wear those all the time. These I literally never wore. Oh, these are like my favorite thrifted jeans I've ever gotten. These are like a true Gap 90s mom jean. I wear them all the time. This is hilarious and also embarrassing. I have two pairs of jeans of Levi's that literally have the tags I forgot that I bought them. So these are like their balloon leg and I remember them fitting so cute and I was wondering like what happened to them? So I have them in that and then I got them in this black pair too. Well, here's all the denim that is leaving my closet. The fact that I accumulated this much stuff is just so crazy to me. Wow. This next part I think is the part that I'm dreading the most. This is all clean laundry. I just didn't have enough hangers. So now I gotta go through this. And this too. Do I like this? I don't remember. Yeah, this is the cute blazer. Keep the vest. I have a lot of t-shirts I realized too, but I wear t-shirts like all the time. Like this Madewell one is incredible. So keeping that one. I like this t-shirt, but I feel like I got a lot of use out of it. So I think that one's gonna go to Buffalo Exchange. Another t-shirt. This is one of my favorite Disney sweaters. I actually got this at Buffalo Exchange too, as well as this one. I shop at Buffalo Exchange a lot. And this one is from the 80s, I believe, but it is so stinking cute. Got another Mickey sweater. like my shoes are like a huge deal but there are a few that I don't wear anymore I don't think I ever wore these boots I got them at Urban Outfitters like for $30 and they were like on super sale and I think that's when I was like I need them but never gonna wear them these are my favorite pair of vans that I got from Madewell so keeping those I still think I'm gonna wear these Cortezes. I like them, especially with like just sweatshirts. So I think I'm gonna keep these. Love these Everlane flats. They're like disgusting. I wear them all the time, but I'm just gonna wear them to death. I actually got these off of Poshmark. These boots I also got off of Poshmark. They are like a knockoff version of the Everlanes, but they're actually from Zara and I really like these. So I'm excited for boot season. These are the Everlane boots I was talking about. I literally wear these all the freaking time. So I actually need to invest in another pair because these are getting so so beat up. Another pair I got off of Poshmark, uh, they're from Zara, but I think I paid like $8 for them. I actually got them for a wedding, but I, even though they're so cute, I don't wear them anymore. So those are gonna be going Buffalo Exchange. Literally keeping all my Converse. Okay, literally everything else is staying. The very last section that I have to go through are my purses. So here is just some of my purses that I literally don't really use. I don't know why they're out here. And then all of these are also purses. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the same method I did with the clothes, except I'm gonna do that with the purses and just throw them all over my bed. That's when you know you have a problem. This, this, I don't understand. Okay, I have the best intention when I bought this, but I have not worn it not once. I'm gonna keep that one. This one I got really good use out of, but I don't really gravitate towards it anymore. So don't need that. Love that bag. I don't think I ever wore this bag. Love that bag. 
No. Again, with these like fanny pack things, like who did I think I was at one point? Not cool. Oh, got some snacks in there. This is the only fanny pack I wear. This is my current bag that I'm wearing. Guys, I'm officially done. I've gone through literally everything that was in my closet, purses, shoes, sweaters, jackets, everything you can think of and it looks so good. So you guys ready to see? Let's go in. So how I organize the closet is all of my sweaters and long sleeves and like some crudex are all up here. I then have some of like more my blouses that are long sleeved here in the middle. Then I have my short sleeve blouses. I have all of my t-shirts that I wear. So I have my dresses and jumpsuits here. And then I have all my jackets at the end. Here's all of the bags that I kept, which is so crazy that I only have these, but it feels so good. And then just have two pairs of shorts and the rest are all denim. And then all of my shoes, they're all lined up and not in a pile anymore. And I still have some hangers left over. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I was able to get rid of a lot of clothes. And my closet is coming along so nice and I'm obsessed with it, you guys. Oh my god, much stuff. So I'm sure you're wondering how many pieces of clothing that I've gotten rid of. 56. 56 items of clothing and accessories. Going into this closet clean out, I really didn't think I was gonna get rid of that much stuff. Like, but when you start pulling things out of your closet, it's very eye-opening. So 56 items, I would say, is a lot and I feel like I could do another one. So there will definitely be more closet clean outs in the future. So if you guys wanna see more of those, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below letting me know if I inspired you guys to clean out your closets because it was so refreshing, you guys. I cannot even tell you. I did a poll on my Instagram. So I'm actually gonna be selling some of the items either on Poshmark or on my Instagram stories. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram. It is at The Wandering Fleur. I will leave that link down below for you guys. Thanks guys so much for watching this closet clean out video. And I really hope you guys get going on cleaning out your closets. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.